If you watch this show, you know that we offer lighting for the interior and exterior of your home. But just like any other department in our store, it's hard to explain what that fully entails without showing you. So that's why today, instead of meeting in the studio, we're here in the Village showroom to paint you a better picture of what is all available from our store. And I'm joined by my coworkers, Carrie and Natasha. Welcome, ladies. Good morning. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for letting us join you here in the showroom to chat about your favorite department, the lighting department. What is your history with lighting? How long have you each been working in this industry? I've been in the industry since 2011. I started in 2013. Wow, that's wonderful. And just to kind of give people an idea of what we offer at Village, what are some of the general categories of product? Oh, we have such a wide variety of products. First, we have our ceiling fixtures, which include chandeliers, lanterns, linear fixtures, pendants, mini pendants, semi flushes, blush mounts, and track lighting. Ceiling fans are another popular product that we offer that goes along with our ceiling fixtures. We also carry vanity lights, wall sconces, outdoor lighting, landscape lighting, under cabinet lighting, LED lit mirrors, table lamps, floor lamps, Legrand switches and outlets, and don't forget about light bulbs. We have a huge selection of light bulbs and have so many fun shapes and sizes. Well, that is a lot of product, and if you come to our showroom, you'll see examples of all of those categories here at the showroom. And speaking of the showroom, um, I have to give you guys a shout out because this is not just a lighting showroom. This is an award-winning lighting showroom, and that's thanks to the hardworking designers right here who keep it up to date. We've been published many years in a row in Lighting and Decor magazine among many of the top nation lighting showrooms and that's a big deal for our small business so a lot of that is credited to you keeping things up to date and just putting in that work and making us this great wonderful lighting showroom for you our customers to shop and a big element of having that successful lighting showroom is keeping things up to date right Carrie? Yes we really enjoy keeping our showroom up to date with new products new trends that we're seeing another thing that we like to do is make sure that we're keeping ourselves up to date um, by bringing in our lighting reps to make sure that they can do any product training with us especially especially on our under cabinet lighting systems, as well as the switches and outlets. Another thing that we like to do is to be able to see these fixtures in person. Um, and one way we can do that is by going to industry events. Yeah, and you just got back from a market event, correct? Yes, we just got back from Lightovation, which takes place in Dallas, Texas, and that's a really fun event. Um, there are over 100 vendors there in one location, which really helps us to see product in person, get to touch and feel things, and we also get to talk with our lighting reps there and go over product training right on site. I loved seeing what you guys got to see at market this year. It's so exciting and how helpful to be able to see these fixtures in person. Oh, it was so helpful. Market was such an amazing experience. Being able to see these products up close and in person is so helpful when it comes to being able to guide customers in their lighting selections. Trust me when I say that the catalogs and pictures of these lights do not do them justice. We were able to see the scale of these products and really see what each finish looks like. Also being able to see these fixtures lit up really brings them to life. We try to carry a wide variety of styles and finishes in our village showroom so our customers can see it for themselves, but there's just no way for us to show everything. And that's where Carrie and I come in and why us going to market is so important. Even if our customers are not able to see a light in person, we have seen it and can therefore make recommendations and offer our professional opinion on what we think will look good and what we think our customer will like. And all of that is so helpful when you're going to specify and help pick out these things for customers. You're suggesting the right size, the finish, because you've seen them in person. It's so helpful. And let's talk more about what you did see. So what were some of the finishes that you saw? Matte black. This past year, we really saw a lot of people asking for black, and our vendors were starting to dabble their toes in it. Now it feels as though it is really in full swing. All of our vendors came out with new black fixtures and ceiling fans, as well as extended lines that were already offered in bronze and nickel to being available in black. Black is a great finish that mixes well with others. This is also why we're still seeing it with black with gold or nickel accents. Speaking of gold, we saw a lot of gold with white fixtures. This really creates a light, crisp, and clean look. A new finish we saw for our ceiling fans was weathered wood. Many of our customers were selecting a weathered wood or a light stained wood for their flooring. Now we are seeing more selection and styles for our ceiling fans that offer a weathered wood blade to tie into the flooring trend. And of course, the color of the year is blue. We saw many varying shades of blue in pendants and lamps. And I loved seeing all of those 
blue lights. That was really exciting because we're seeing the blue trend in our cabinetry and wall tile and all those other categories, but to see some options in lighting was very, very exciting. How about the shapes and sizes of the lights? Oh my goodness, there are so many fun shapes and different sizes that we saw at market. One of the big trends we saw in pendants this year was a lot of cone shapes and rounded domes. We are still seeing the round hoop chandelier style to be on trend this year, as well as more of the organic shapes and the Sputnik style lights. As far as sizes, it seems the bigger the light, the better. We have general rules for sizing, but it seems going bigger with your light is what everyone is doing. So many exciting fixtures, and I recognize some from our showroom and ones that we're already specking in projects that we're doing. What were some other lighting trends that you guys noticed? One of the biggest trends that I've noticed is just mixing finishes and mixing metals. As Carrie kind of pointed out earlier, uh, there's a lot of mixed metals going on within the same light fixture, but I also think mixing it in the entire space or in, the, in your entire home uh, is also a big trend. It is very uncommon to do the same finish throughout the entire home anymore. Absolutely. So that's why you can work with our team and we'll work with you to help pick all the right finishes and balance everything out. How about you, Carrie? I saw a lot of fun bulbs being used while we were at market. We often tell our customers that a light bulb can change the look of a fixture, and I was reminded of that myself when we were at market. I have seen a lot of these um, white round globe bulbs being used, and it's really striking when paired with a black or gold fixture. Yeah, and it's so amazing how that same fixture can look different by switching out those bulbs. We're talking later in this episode about hardware, and it's the same thing. You can take one area and completely change it by switching out the bulbs in this case. So that's a great example. Well, if you could tell us one thing about working with the lighting department here at Village Home Stores, what would that be? A lot of our customers are looking on our website before they come out to the store, which can be so helpful to get ideas or inspiration. I want our customers to know that just because a fixture is labeled as a foyer or island light does not mean that we only use them for that specific area. We're using open lanterns not only in foyers but also above islands. Many of the long island style fixtures are being used above dining room tables. You may even hear them called linear chandeliers. When you're looking for lights for a specific room, you don't have to limit yourself to that specific category. It's so true. We don't need to be stuck in each of those categories to get you the perfect light for your project. And our customers can shop our lighting in paper catalogs, but also on our website. And even on the website, though, we have those lighting categories. So it can be tricky to know and filter all your selections to be in the right location because like we mentioned your kitchen pendant lights might actually be by size a foyer light so we want to make sure we're getting you lined up and the best way to get the right light fixture selected is to work with an expert so we encourage you to reach out let natasha and carrie get to work for you so give us a call text us right off of our website or even better stop in and see us thank you so much for joining us today ladies thank Thanks you for having us.